รายการต่อไปนี้เหมาะสำหรับผู้ชมที่มีอายุ13ปีขึ้นไปอาจมีภาพเสียงหรือเนื้อหาที่ต้องใช้วิจารณญาณในการรับชมผู้ชมที่มีอายุน้อยกว่า13ปีควรได้รับคำแนะนำติมาโอ้ยสี่สิบพันสี่สิบห้านาทีอ่ะไม่รู้อ่ะไม่ขนาดโซลาเรียนะโซลาเรียตรงอาโจกันนะเออซุกุมบิดใช่โซลาเรียโซลาเรียตรง B T S อาโจ Oh my God it's been so long since we've been back to Bangkok so this is so exciting seeing the familiar sights and everybody around here is just so All of a sudden, just very nostalgic. All of a sudden, because we've, it's been five years since we came back to Bangkok. In the past few years, as a child, I always came here like almost like every year. Okay, and this is just really like so 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 cool that all of a sudden like, I'm experiencing like this country that I'm so familiar with, but as if it's a new country to me. So I just feel that it's just so so fun. Oh my God, beef boat noodles, first meal in Bangkok. Amazing look. Oh my god! So all of us are well aware that Thailand has legalized um, cannabis. What? They're literally parading or like just selling cannabis water in the middle of like a supermarket. Lychee flavor, pineapple, and mixed berry. Take your pick. Okay, after getting some groceries and also buying skincare, okay, we are going everywhere to buy skincare. Uh, we are going to explore the markets right now. It's already 10 p.m. Uh, but you know, um, in Bangkok, it's like you don't have this kind of curfew nonsense, all right. So it's okay, you can go and look at like uh, the market. And I want to find my mango sticky rice because the shopping malls, most of the shops are already closed, so they don't have it. So I'm very determined to go and find it. Oh my god! I think I came at the right time. <laughs> There's nobody. Now I can vlog in peace. Yeah, and nobody can judge me. Morning Bangkok, we are bright and early, not really bright and early, okay, it's really 9am. We are going to this place called what? Breakfast Theory, is it? Yeah, for breakfast. Oh, the motorcycle, and I'm very, very hungry because after the gym yesterday, I didn't get to eat much food. Yeah, we found breakfast story in this like very like Ulu alley. Oh, it looks very aesthetic. I love how they don't no longer give you plastic bags. So this is the big C tote bag that we actually bought like years ago and we're still using it now. It's really really handy and they managed to fit all of the snacks that we bought. You don't see like that, okay? Actually there's quite a lot inside. But it's just because that these are slightly larger, the Maggie Me, so we have to um, you know hold it on the way back. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna go into this. Oh my god, look, they have mandarin cookies and golden lemon. So cool! 
Okay, please leave me alone, Singapore government. I'm a peaceful civilian. I'm just here to look, okay? This shop is so nice. It's really like a concept store. It looks like a cafe. I love it. Look at all of these. It looks like doodles, actually. <laughs> but they're machines to like smoke, I think. I don't even know how it works, okay? I think you put this... I don't know. What, what is this for? Where do you puff from? I don't understand. It's gonna be 9 a.m. now and we are headed down to the hotel breakfast. Hmm? Yeah, blue again, same thing. Same color. 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 Mm. Change of plans, I just got changed after breakfast um, because we're going to the Grand Palace and then um, it requires for men to be in long pants so I had to change into long pants but then because that khaki top didn't fit with my shoes I had to change the top as well so I'm basically just wearing my airport outfit for today but it's okay We're done with the Grand Palace and we are headed to Chinatown um, and Chinatown has this very nice and cheap shop that has um, the coconut bird snacks that we always like to eat so we are going to go there definitely is a must visit and then there are definitely like other things to do but um, I've kind of forgot what actually there is there so we're just gonna go there and explore just like this is my first time here in Bangkok This restaurant, okay, everybody please think, if you guys want to eat like Chinese kind of food or like uh, like bird snacks, please go to them, okay, they are really not bad. Even though their prices are a little bit steep, uh, the photo bill for four of us came up to be about $166, so okay lah, a bit pricey for in Bangkok, but uh, I guess if you think about it in a context of Singapore, then you just be like, okay lah, anyway it's nice, right? So you just Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this pancake. I still have no idea what it's called, but it's very famous in Bangkok. And we got the sweet one, which is like um, egg yolk strips with sugar. Yeah! Right after dinner and dessert. Another round of dessert. Hi! <laughs> so we were done shopping at Chinatown. We took about like two hours. I was dead I, I not out in the cab and now we're here at this spa to do a massage before going for a quick dinner later on and I'm gonna have after we're gonna have after you as well uh, and then after this we're just gonna go have an early night because we are here to pack our luggage and there are a lot of things lying in the hotel that we bought and we have not packed it yet so I think tonight we it will be just a quick one um, get the massage done just get dinner and we're just gonna go back that's it
Good morning Bangkok! We're here at Otoko Market this morning for some food and we're gonna buy fruits just like an auntie yeah and then we're gonna ship the whole carton box back to Singapore because the fruits here are super cheap and good yes amazing I love it Ayo this car I recommend that all of you guys go to that market that we went to earlier. We came back to the hotel to put the things down and now we're headed to Boots again to stock up skincare because I used um, the Boots, it's an, it's an in-house brand, um, it's like an orange packaging, um, the sleeping mask. It's actually really really good like when you wake up right your skin will be very glowy and soft as well and then I thought it was just me right so I asked my mom to try and she said that um, you also feel the same way. So we're gonna go back there and go and tour a lot. Anyways, it's just like six, eight Singapore dollars. So just can't can't get. 